What's up everybody, welcome to BioWars 3 Raw TV. So, we're going to talk about something tonight, and I don't like to point out um, other trainers' clients, other trainers' businesses, how they do stuff. So I'm not going to put any names in here, because it doesn't really matter. Like, I've done this in the past before, like, the names don't matter, the trainer doesn't matter, the clients don't fucking matter, it doesn't matter. What matters is the bullshit right in front of your face that you may not even see. That some people are going to hire this person for. So I do follow this person on Instagram. I think that they are in good shape. They have interesting stuff on their Instagram. Um, but I was completely unaware this person was actually a trainer. I thought it was just kind of, they were, I don't want to say a celebrity. They don't even have a celebrity. Like they don't even do stuff in the fitness industry. So, cause I, I don't know. I don't, I just thought there was some interesting shit going on, how they train, how they live. I'm interested in how other people live and stuff like that. So that being said, first picture that's going to pop up here right now, you're going to see this individual. This is a woman. And you're going to see that she has lost some weight, which is great. But you're going to see that, first of all, there is completely two different views of as far as the lighting goes. So the second lighting, which is on the right-hand side, actually blurs a lot of body fat. So the overhead lighting, which you see in the first one, which you get the purple underwear on, that one shows a lot of cellulite. So just by changing the lighting, it appears that this person lost weight. However, if you actually look at the bends and the folds and where the size itself is, they did lose, they, I mean, she lost a little bit of fat. This is a year's worth of training. A year's worth of training to lose fat. I would say maybe there's 10 pounds on this frame that was lost and there's still enough fat on your cellulite. There's enough fat and trust me, if that lighting was not the way it is in the second picture, you'd be able to see that all the cellulite is still there. So there's a whole fucking year. And this individual is being pushed as like, oh my God, look at the great, great results. Holy, what the fuck, great results. Like you could literally, literally take a two-year-old fucking kid, take a marker board, write a bunch of things on there like training-wise, diet-wise, and, and supplement-wise, and cardio-wise, have the two-year-old come up, start pointing at shit, take each one, make a program from it, and you're going to get the same results that you got this. Like there's no skill whatsoever involved in this. To A year, that for me, what I see here is probably four weeks max to get that type of results. Four weeks, not a year. I'm like, this person's actually out there fucking selling programs for, it takes a year to get that? Who the fuck looks at that and goes, that's a good idea. I got a year of my life to waste while I want to lose 10 pounds. What the fuck? You could do 10 pounds in two months easy. I've seen it done a fucking bazillion times. But anyways, next picture, you have this individual. This one really kind of throws me off a little bit because this person did lose fat, right? But if you're looking at it, there's almost no fucking muscle built whatsoever. And this was three months. So the person lost some fat in three months, which is good. But if you look at her arms, there's no new muscularity in her arms whatsoever. The way the delt is, again, the lighting has changed, so the delt looks a little bit deeper in the final picture on the bottom hand. But to be true, honest with you, there's no much more, no more muscularity. She actually lost muscle size while she was dieting down. Three months and you lost fucking muscle doing this? I was like, what the fuck? Like, I can see the muscle loss. I can see where the deltoid has shrunk. I can see where the arms have shrunk, and the muscularity hasn't changed at all. Matter of fact, there's 0% muscularity in the new pictures compared to the first picture, and her arms are fucking much smaller, and her shoulders are much smaller. You know, everything about her is much smaller, but to get that without being more muscular, you've lost muscle. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? So that's two right off that thing that I was like, what the fuck? This one... This one right here, is there a difference? The slightest fucking difference. You have to have a trained eye to really start picking this apart. But even without a trained eye, you can kind of see a little bit of a difference. This was 10 months. 20 pounds in 10 months. Now, I'm sorry, but that doesn't look like 20 pounds to me whatsoever. It looks like maybe 10 to 15 tops. But 10 months, and that's all your body has changed? If that was me, I would be embarrassed as a trainer. If that was a before and after picture for 10 months, I would literally be like, I am so fucking sorry. I suck as a fucking trainer. I suck as a human being. I'm a fucking loser because I should have fucking known better than to try to train you because I'm a fucking knucklehead. Like, I'm, I can't believe that people would pay this individual to get that type of results in 10 months. Another one a year. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I have seen, literally, I've had clients drop 70 pounds in fucking three to four months. I myself have dropped 65 in three months before. I've watched other people's clients that I know, perfect examples, um, Joey Glora, when he had that kid drop 100 pounds in three months. 
and the kid kept it off. So, like, there's, I, I just don't understand, like, you know, it, it doesn't make any sense, which I guess new people starting, like, you know, again, we'll flip to the next picture. This fucking picture, this one right here, two months from the, the pictures, two months. And again, if you look at it, it's in a different fucking place with different, well, it could be something hanging right there. I mean, it looks, to me, it looks like a different place, but regardless, it is a different place. If you look at the mirror, it's different lighting. But there is almost zero difference in that fucking arm. And I mean zero difference. Zero. No more muscularity in it. It doesn't look any smaller. I'm like, other than the, the light being different, that's two months worth of training and you're proud of this fucking client? I'm like, what the fuck? Now, this is the final one right here. Now, this one, the girl did lose weight, right? But this is 16 weeks, okay? Finally in control of my diet, not feeling restricted about what I can and cannot eat. Learn how to exercise in a gym environment, which I wasn't comfortable with before I started. Struggled losing belly fat due to belly fat. You fucking due to hormonal imbalance and pre-menopause. But after the third month, it's finally coming off. Listen, here's the deal. I don't give a fuck about your pre-menopause. I don't give a fuck about your excuses. Because that's what I see when I read this fucking thing. Because anybody with half a fucking brain that knows that that's going on has gone to a doctor and got their hormones fucking checked and fixed. I've done it. My wife's done it. My clients have done it. My friends have done it, okay? We're all fucking old and we all get our fucking... Well, my, my wife's going to punch me in the face. Anyways, but we are all getting older and all of our hormones get fucked up and we go get them checked. But to make that type of fucking progress in 16 weeks, in 16 weeks, this girl with the right trainer would have had abs. I don't give a fuck about all this other bullshit because plain and simple, I have seen people with thyroid problems. I have seen people with menopause. I have seen people fucking that have gone off steroids, gone on steroids. I've seen people that have fucked themselves up with pro hormones. I've seen all of this shit throughout the year, and they all get better results than this fucking trainer's got with all of their clients. And these are the ones that this fucking trainer is putting the spotlight on. These are the ones that they want to promote. I'm like, that means the ones that are not getting good results, because you think these are good results, there are people getting even fucking worse results? What the fuck? I'm like, I can't even believe that this is a fucking thing. I, I was like, I was taken back and I actually unfollowed the person because I was like, you're fucking stealing people's money. You're robbing people blind. And this is how it works. What they do is they fucking, they butter you up. What they do is they fucking, they're so nice to you. They're your best friend. They're your cousin. They're your mother. They're your brother. They're fucking everything. They fucking feed into how good you look and you're such a great person. They basically inflate the, inflate the fuck out of your ego. Once they've inflated it, they control you. So all they have to do is say, no, you're making great progress. You're doing great, fantastic. Just keep it up. Motherfucker, you are making terrible progress. I've seen snails move at a fucking much faster pace than you are making right now with your progress. And you got this person out there fucking telling you you're doing a good job. If they're telling you you're doing a good job, you're never going to push harder. If they're telling you you're doing a good job, which you're not, you're never going to get better results. It's going to take you years, years to fucking get where you need to be when it could take you fucking months. I don't know, guys. Like, it frustrates the fuck out of me because, this again, I see this shit on Instagram all the time. And, you know, there's going to be somebody that sees these things and goes, oh, my God, I should hire this person for whatever. And I don't know what they, what they charge, but it should be fucking free for the shit that's going on here. But... Bottom line is, guys, I can't wrap my head around why someone, and the person that, that is training these people is in good shape. I've watched some of their videos and stuff. I've watched them exercise them train. Like, they know what the fuck they're doing. The problem is they know what they're doing for themselves and not for other people. They don't actually understand what they're doing. They just stumbled upon a fucking combination that worked for themselves. Or, this is the best part, they have another fucking trainer doing their shit. They have somebody that's pulling the strings on their shit. They just follow it. They look like that. Then they go, and they don't even try to apply that. They try to just fucking cut calories, increase cardio, cut calories. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. These people look like they're fucking cut calories one day and then eat sticks of butter for the whole day the next. I don't know what the fuck is happening. But bottom line is, guys, there's a lot of people out there that want to promote that they know what the fuck they're doing. And I'm not saying everybody does. I'm not saying fucking there's a lot of people out there to bullshit. I'm saying there's plenty of people that bullshit. There's plenty of people that don't. But the bottom line is, if you look at a fucking picture like that, I mean, yes, I have a trained eye because I'm a judge, but you don't have a trained eye and you're not a judge. And I'm sure that you guys can see this just as fucking clear as I can. And if that doesn't make you fucking sick to your stomach, I don't know what can. The fact that this person is taking money from these people and then promoting them out of shape like that all over their Instagram. Like, what the fuck? Like, this person like, oh, I, I, I just, I, I wasn't comfortable exercising in a gym environment. But you let that fucking person put up pictures of you in your underwear with your fucking saggy cellulite ass all over the place? You think that's okay and tagged you in it and put your name in it? But you're worried about going to a fucking gym and working out? The internet just saw your cellulite ass. I'm sure you don't run around in a fucking G-string at the gym, right? You probably stay covered up. So why the fuck would you be okay with this shit 
but not be okay with going to a fucking gym where there are people that are working on themselves like you. What the fuck is wrong with this situation? Like, it just, the whole thing just fucking a bunch of bullshit. So, be aware, guys. This is, again, not to bash anybody. It's not what this is about. It's to fucking open your eyes. You know what I mean? This is shit that opens my eyes when I see it and I go, fuck, I can't believe I'm seeing this. I wonder what other people think of this. And the more that you delve into this, and I applaud, uh, applaud, applaud you, applaud. Anyways, I encourage you, sorry, to go out and do research like this on your own. Like, if you're thinking about hiring a trainer, look at their clients. Look at what they're doing. Look at fucking you know, themselves, what their workouts are and stuff, because sometimes you just don't fucking know. You know what I mean? Like, you have somebody out there, like my good friend Dave Pulsanella, Dave has trained tens of thousands of athletes throughout the fucking years, and he's got a fucking great track record. So there's somebody who I respect and admire. Other people in the industry, may or nameless, may have PhDs, may not, I have their fucking clients at my gym wearing their fucking tank tops completely out of shape. Talking about how they don't restrict, they don't have any restrictions, and they can eat whatever the fuck they want. I'm like, but you look like a borderline sumo wrestler. Like, one of the chicks I thought was fucking pregnant, but it's been two years. So if she didn't fucking spit that kid out yet, it's just fat. And she's talking about how, oh, I have no restrictions. No shit, you look like you're pregnant all year round. Is that the look you're going for? Is that something new that I don't know, the new kids, like the kids want to have a pregnant look? Like, what the fuck is going on? Last time I checked, people want to be fit. They want to be lean. They want to take care of themselves. They want to be healthy. They don't want to look like they fucking ate their way through fucking Missouri, wound up on the other side, talking about they didn't have to restrict nothing, looking like fucking the biggest dumpster muffin before picture you've ever seen, and that's their after picture. I don't know, guys. It is what it is. As you guys can tell, I get a little fucking riled up, but what do you guys think? Chime in down below. Biostrainchaining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. Biostrainchaining.com is the blog. It's This is bullshit bicep. Not the bicep. The bicep's not bullshit. And we are...